excited because if you remember the video that we did putting the babies in the box to send them to the hospital, <laughs> the box was so little and the babies were kind of, I don't know, folded a little bit. And they not only gave us a bigger box, but it looks like each baby is put into their own box. Oh my goodness, look at this. How cute! Whoa! This, this looks is so cute. cute! It says American Girl Doll Hospital. And it's a picture, it's a sticker of a band-aid. I feel like we got a brand new baby. I cannot wait. Oh, I'm sad I had to rip the box, but look. <gasps> oh, and they even remembered to give me my blanket back. And they oh. folded it nicely and put it in a bag. <laughs> oh, Elsa. Give her a hug. <laughs> Oh, Elsa, she's so cute. I can't even look at it because it's cute. She looks brand new. Oh my goodness. Hey, let's look at what they gave her. It says, get well soon from your friends at American Girl. Oh, so cute. I can't even look at it because it's so cute. <laughs> Dear Heather, Paisley and Bella had fun at the doll hospital. Thank you for your continued support. Good luck with your YouTube channel. Love, Dr. Guster. Thank you so much. That's so sweet. Bella. Oh look, here is the certificate of good health. It says, I hereby certify that Paisley is now ready to return home and resume all regular activities. I prescribe plenty of rest for one week, plus extra strength dose of TLC, tender loving care, to be administered at least twice daily. Dr. Willow, doctor in charge at the American Girl Doll Hospital. Look at this adorable little hat they gave us. It's so cute. It's pink and it has a pink heart on it. And look at the hospital gown. That is so cute. It's pink, my favorite color. Yeah, it's pink and white and there's butterflies and flowers and really cute heart band-aids and little stars. It's so cute. I like her hat and... I love it too. And that's what she looks like from behind. But let's check her out. I can tell they took really good care of you, Paisley. She looks brand new. She has little paint markings, purple pink markings on her back of her head. Why? Well, in one of our YouTube rooms, the walls painted purple and so I, whenever I would set her down like this, her head would kind of rub against the wall. And so she has little purple on her head, but it looks like they were able to get some of it out. But I do know that they, they don't usually take paint or pen off at all. And that's okay, they took good care of her. They cleaned her up. And I think she looks so cute. Should we open up your sister's box? Yeah. <laughs> Let's put your hat on. They did an amazing job. She looks so cute. She really does look brand new. She's and here we have Bella. And Bella is our very first bitty baby that we've ever bought. So she, she's been around a little while. Do you want to open this up, Elsa? Yeah. Let me help you. Oh, you got it. to fold our blanket that we sent them in and put them in a little plastic bag. Oh, Bella, look how cute she is. She looks brand new. Oh, baby girl, she's so precious. Oh, I missed you. Okay, Bella came with a certificate of good health also. It says, I hereby certify that Bella is now ready to return home and resume all regular activities slowly. I prescribe plenty of rest for one week, plus an extra strength dose of TLC, tender loving care, to be administered at least twice daily, Dr. Willow. 
Thank you, Dr. Willow. And they also sent me this letter. It says it's dated February 15th of 2017. It says, Dear Heather, thank you for sending your doll to the American Girl Doll Hospital for a wellness visit. We enjoyed having her and she was a wonderful patient. Our goal with wellness visits is to return dolls that look as much like new as possible. However, this service has some limitations and will leave some signs of play. The wellness visit includes general cleaning of the vinyl, which removes surface dirt plus hair brushing. Because vinyl is very porous, a general cleaning will not remove stains caused by strong dyes found in some textiles, makeup, colored markers, pens, ink, or scrapes in the vinyl. Hair brushing will not improve dry, frizzy, or damaged wig hair. We hope you are pleased with the appearance of your doll. If you have any service needs again in the future, please do not hesitate to contact us. Doll Doctor American Girl Doll Hospital. We are very, very pleased with how our babies look. Thank you so much, American Girl Doll Hospital. We just love the hospital gown and the cute little hat, and we love the certificate and the letter that we got with our babies. It's such a neat thing that we can send our American Girl babies and dolls to your hospital and we know that they get taken care of so well. I'm looking at her and her skin looks perfect. She was cleaned, they cleaned her. She looks very good. She looks awesome. She also has the purple paint on the back of her head, but I know that's not something that they, they take off. The American Girl Doll Hospital is so awesome. My babies came back looking so good. I love them. What a fun thing. This has been one of my favorite Bitty Baby videos, is getting the babies ready to go to the hospital and then opening their box up when we got them back. Cause look how cute they are. <laughs> So adorable. There we go. See, here's Paisley and Bella. They look so cute. Oh, she looks kind of sleepy. I have Bitty Baby Paisley and Bitty Baby Bella. Bella was the first Bitty Baby that I ever bought, and after I bought her, I bought Paisley. And I love these dolls so much. Did you guys know that you could send your bitty babies to the American Girl Hospital? If there's something wrong with your babies, like if the body's broken or an arm or a leg, or if you need a new head, you could send it to the American Girl Hospital. You pay some money and they fix your doll. There's nothing wrong with these dolls. I've had them for a couple years. They're in pretty good shape. I've got some markings on them. I don't know if they can take them off. She's got a lot of scratches. Um, I don't think they can fix that unless I replace her head completely. I know they can replace her head. But I think for today, what I'm going to do is a wellness check. And I will show you how to find the hospital form on the computer so you can do this yourself. Go to AmericanGirl.com. This is what it looks like. And the easiest way is right here under Shop, Explore, Stores, and Play. There's a little magnifying glass and it says search. Just type in the word hospital. Press enter. And here it talks about the doll hospital. It says when accidents happen, the experts at American Girl Doll Hospital are ready to help with everything from a thorough cleaning to major surgery for your girl's doll. Doll doctors will make her as good as new and send her back to be loved for years to come. So see these cute hospital gowns? So if you send your bitty baby into the hospital, like we are going to today, they'll send your doll back in a hospital gown and a little hat. Isn't that so cute? It says general repair and care. They can replace your head of your doll the body, the legs, the arms. They can replace the eyes. It has to be the same color as your original doll. They can replace the head, reattach limbs. Oh, it says American Girl Dolls only. And total doll replacement. Oh, that's only available for welly wishers. So we are going to do a wellness visit. There's nothing wrong with our doll other than it has some ink on the head, a little bit of paint from leaning against my wall. Um, and I don't think they can fix that, but they can 
kind of clean the skin off a little bit and well let's click on this it says wellness visit includes skin cleaning a hair brushing of course bitty babies don't have hair but no major surgery so we don't need major surgery so we're we are going to do the wellness visit wellness visit for dolls that need a little refreshing this option offers a thorough hair brushing and skin cleaning in addition to a renewed appearance your doll returns with a certificate of good health, a get well card, and a doll hospital gown. That is so cool. I need to write the date, the name of the doll's owner, and then the name of the doll, the hair color, the eye color, and then right here, Bitty Baby and Bitty Baby Twins. I don't need a new head, I don't need a new body, I don't need an eye replacement or a reattachment of the head. I do need a wellness visit, so that's $18. I have to write all my information, my address, my phone number, and then you have to send your money. So I will do that. And it tells you what to do. It says doll hospital admission process. Place your undressed doll and admission form with payment attached, including shipping charges, in a sturdy box. Please do not wrap your doll in newsprint. If sending more than one doll, please complete a separate admission form for each one. Tape the mailing label above. This is what they're talking about. This is the address to American Girl. So they want you to tape that label to your package to send your doll to the hospital so they can figure out where it needs to go. Eventually I'll replace her head. I still think it's really good and cute. They'll wash her skin for me. The ink and the marker probably won't come off, but that's okay. She's still really cute. Bella, are you sleepy? Oh, she's so sleepy. Okay, I'm gonna take her pajamas off. Oh, see, her body is still just really full. She's clean. They make these dolls really well because I've had her for a couple of years and she's just still in really great shape. So you can tell she's just a little bit dirty. Oh, she looks so sleepy. Oh, sweet baby girl. Oh, she looks so cute. She's all cozy and sleepy. Her mouth is really dirty. I don't know what that is. I've never noticed that. Maybe when I was pretending feeding her with a food pouch one time, I got food on her. But she's ready. Oh, she looks so sweet. And Paisley, she's so sweet too, she's sleepy. But yeah, she has a little paint on her. They can't take that off. But they can check her to see if everything else is good. <laughs> she's so sweet. Okay, let's take her clothes off. Her body is still really, really good also. Her skin looks pretty good. Her mouth is clean. She's got a little bit of glitter on her face. They can wash that off. There's ink right there and lots of paint. In one of my rooms, I have a purple wall and I would set her against the wall and it just scratched some of the purple paint onto her head. But let's wrap her up in her blanket. Bye, sweet girl. I can't wait till you come back. Do you guys like to pretend that your babies are real? We know of course they're not, but it's so fun to make believe. Aw, she looks so cute in this blanket. Paisley, I'm gonna miss you, sweet girl. I'm going to place her in the box going the opposite direction. There we go. There we go, sweet girl. There we go. Now I'm going to tape the box closed. I almost forgot. I need to fill out both hospital admission forms, place them in the box, and I have two because I have two babies, and also I need to send my money in with this form, and then I'll tape up the box, and I will send it off. Okay, so today's date's January 21st of 2017. My name is Heather, we're admitting Bella. She has blonde hair, blue eyes. We are going to do the wellness visit, it's $18. I'll write my billing information on here. And then we'll cut this out so that we can tape it on the box. I'm gonna do that and I will show you what the box looks like when I'm all done.
Okay, here's my box. I have my babies inside. I taped it closed. And here is the label that American Girl gave me on that admission form we just filled out. And then up here, I'll write my address right before I mail it. 